levee banks have overflowed and the streetcar has seen his day when all is gone the plantations hallelujah the treme and the bucare you know i'll be swinging to that music and i'll be up on higher ground where pops is blowing walk on up with gabriel make a sacred sound and i'll see you there at the foot of good night i was number 10 out of 11 kids and there was always just music in the house because when you're poor in America, back then in the 60s, radio was free, you know. So the radio was always on. Somebody was always singing and whistling. My mother was always singing. I had a couple of older brothers that played a uh, horn. Um, but no, there was no formal training. My brother Andrew could play guitar. He was 10 years older than me. And he started teaching me how to play. I was a terrible student. I always wanted to learn easy stuff. He always wanted to teach me hard stuff. We'd just always strike a deal. He'd let me, sh he said, if you let me show you something hard, I'll show you something easy. And I'd say, okay, and he'd show me something hard and I wouldn't practice it in front of him. And as soon as he left, that's all I'd practice. It's 4 a.m., I'm drunk and alone. I saw Paul McCartney play yesterday on the Ed Sullivan Show when I was six years old. I wanted to be the guy with the acoustic guitar. My heart is a flame that pains me if I do not light it on fire. If I do not light it on fire. If I do not light it on fire. If I, do I didn't uh, used to, but when, after the Katrina in 2005, I, I wanted to get better. I wanted to learn more about New Orleans music because I'd been playing rock and roll for 14 years in Cowboy Mouth. So. I took lessons with my friend John Rankin for about eight years, but it was more like he wanted to learn how to write songs, I wanted to learn how to play guitar, and we just got together and talked. And occasionally he'd show me things and I'd show him things, but we always reminded each other, we were just reminding each other of the things we already knew. So he made me a better player. Knowing people like Alex McMurray, who's a wonderful songwriter and guitar player down there, he, that guy strives for excellence in, in his writing and his playing, and he sort of stays after me about my playing. Yeah, I got, I got lessons and I got better after the flood. No, I don't know that I do. I see sounds in words. When I, when I see a song coming to me, I can see, when I can see the words, that's how I remember. You're like, I look at, I was gonna play with Bonarama the other night and Mike Mills from R.E.M. was sitting in and they wanted to do Ohio. So I pulled up my phone, I looked at it, and after 30 seconds I just put it away, but I could see the lyrics and the chords. As if they were there. Oh, every, I mean, everything, all of life, every person I meet. The rhythm of each conversation is different, and so every person's a song. And I, I, I hear them all day, I hear songs, and somebody asked me, have you started writing your next one? I was like, it's a matter of just sitting down and letting something come, because they're dropping all around me all day long, I'm singing them. Life is a song to me, that's the easy part. It's actually living the life is where things get messy. I mean, if it, was the, if it was the fathers for me, it would be Woody Guthrie, Louis Armstrong, uh, Hank Williams, and Dylan. I'm New Orleans born, New Orleans bred. And when I die, I'll be New Orleans dead. And if that's true, and you should hear the news, don't you waste any time. Find the Eureka Brass Band, Mr. the Furbo's on on, and get me to a second line. Oliver, it was the first thing I ever get, did on stage. I played the Artful Dodger when I was a kid, and uh, so it stayed with me. It's a 
surviving. You know, I grew up poor, scrapped my way out, survived uh, love gone wrong and hurricanes and floods and uh, seizures and broken promises uh, on and off the stage. And uh, my greatest accomplishment is I enjoy each day. I don't, the past is a puff of smoke and tomorrow keeps hiding from me. But today was pretty cool. I had a nice drive, hung out with a friend, playing some guitar. Well, here's some love from me to you at the kids' cafe, dancing with the Zulu. Music loving, fest going, come on.